because I can promise you it's going to be very good. Good morning comrades, I'm a bit of a rush because we have very little time left because we're going with someone very very special hello hello hi good afternoon how are you i'm good good me too let's go let's go let's try to make it the last lap of the day so this is just information for rpm and stuff right it's not yes yes we are not okay. timing good good while we're rolling to the track maybe a quick introduction of yourself <laughs> so my name is kuba germaziak and i'm I'm an ex-race driver. I was racing for almost 18 years and um, I stopped five years ago. But I basically since five years the only thing which gave me some pleasure was driving around the Nordschleife. <laughs> so, so I bought the car last year and, and decided to do some laps. So, so this is the first season where, where I've done actually around I guess 150 laps. Nice. And, um, the car has been great since the beginning, but obviously I knew the, the racetrack from, from before because I did two VLNs and, and when I was driving Porsche Super Cup there was a race called um, Porsche World Cup, it yeah. was when Super Cup had 20th century, they made a big race, 200 race cars here uh, and I had to learn the track. Mm -hmm. uh, because this was the part of the of the season. Normally, Super Cup would run with Formula One, but this this was an exception, and then and they did the race at the ring. There was 200 cars. I qualified third. I finished. I crushed in the race on wet, but I still finished around top 15. Wow! But that was not a good effort. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I still enjoy driving here. Like I said, probably the only track where where I just come to have fun. That's cool. Well, I'm very excited for our lap. I was really sprinting and hoping I could make it we because made. I can promise you it's going to be very good. That's something a lot of my subscribers, especially from Poland, have been waiting for <laughs> to go for a lap with you. So I did everything I could to make it possible. So off we go.
we have time. Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm definitely not gonna say no for one more lap of this craziness. <laughs> Dude, you use every millimeter of the track. You know, um, it's a very narrow track. I know you need to use every track surface. That's my, the... my previous uh, team manager who gave me a lot of um, knowledge, uh -huh. he always used to say, you know, you should use every millimeter because you pay for that.
because yeah, well, so your it, manager said something. Yeah, about the, my manager always used to say you have to use every millimeter of the track, and and it doesn't only work on the North Life, it works everywhere, especially in the cars like this, which have quite a lot of power but very low downforce. So mm. you really need to use the all of the power you have because that's actually what you got. You know, if you you have the big rear wing, but at the end of the day. It's not a lot of downforce, so so you try to brake as late as possible, and you really need to be as early as possible on power. This was the most crazy rocket, like every millimeter full sand. Full sand is an understatement in this lab. This was very, very good. Like, if I have to make a comparison, that was like with Kevin Astry last year. Yeah. But yeah, maybe, maybe even, I wouldn't be afraid to say that this was even a bit more crazy because Kevin was holding back. He was asking, are you doing fine? Are you doing fine? Are you doing fine? No, that man, he knows we're doing fine. We're just gonna go for it. I shouldn't ask you. I think you are doing fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know your way around better than me, so... <laughs> well, I know the way around maybe, but if I would be half the driver you are, I would be very happy with myself. Well, you can see like the window steamed up a bit. Yeah, It's uh, it got a bit hot. It got, it got a bit hot in here, holding the GoPro while uh, going through all these G-forces. It's, uh, it was good. Thank you very much for this experience and I think on behalf of whole audience of mine from Poland I can say thank you for you and Mr. Kubica as well for representing <laughs> your country so well yeah. in motorsports. It's awesome. So what are your plans? Are you like uh, gonna be racing uh, again or are you just like chilling? I don't know. I really enjoyed this track so I was really thinking to do the, the old VLN new NLS, yes I think. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Name. But I didn't have time this year. So, so maybe next year, depending on how the COVID thing will end up and if there's gonna be a lot of racing or not, mm -hmm. maybe I would like to do some, but, but it really depends on how much time I have. Yeah. I really enjoy coming here for track days because obviously, I mean, the tourist drives are nice, but you always have to be careful and... Of course, no, not I, going I, I want to time. say uh, like a separate point to you, like you're a very fast driver, but 
it takes also a special mindset to be fast and most importantly safe and tourist uh, tourist drives. Yes. And that's what you have. You're like not taking unnecessary risks. You're just yeah, you're enjoying yourself, but you're respecting others. I, I was, I'm not, you know we are not here to set the fastest lap time, and we are here to have fun. So you have to understand that you know there are people who who drive very fast, but there are also people who are the first time. Uh, in here, so, yeah. so you should always take extra caution, and that's what I'm trying to do because I mean, at the end of the day, it's yeah. not about one tenth here or there, yeah. So, no, absolutely. so I think it's the most important thing is to have fun and to also, you know, pay respect to other drivers who who might not know the track, who might, you know, yeah. not know the car. So I don't think it makes sense to really, you know, over push. And, and go crazy on tourist drives. That's why you have the, the track days, yeah? At the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that, that was, was warm. That was <laughs> very warm. And yeah, I think we forgot to turn on the AC. Yeah, well. <sighs> At least you have it. Some people take it even out, but yeah, that was, that was hot. I don't modify my car, so <laughs> the car is, is really stock. Uh -huh. I didn't change anything. Except yeah, so so that, that was an important point I forgot to ask. So it, it's stock, stock? It's gonna, uh, completely stock except for the brake pads. Okay. Because the, the normal brake pads, they, they eat the disc too much and mm -hmm. they overheat the disc. So here um, I have the, the Mante Paget mm -hmm. brake pads in it. But stock brake, stock suspension, I have the setup done by, by my former uh, Porsche Super Cup team. So mm -hmm. they do the setup. Um, but the car is completely stock on warranty, so <laughs> I didn't, want to, I didn't ta want to take any risk really. Yeah. Um, so your suspension, everything is fully? It's fully a standard um, and, and everything is unmodified except for the brake pads, but you have yeah. to do it. Either you have ceramics or steel brakes, I have steel brakes, mm -hmm. you have to have the... the Different pads. Uh, you have to have different pads, otherwise the, the disc will overheat and, mm -hmm. and you know it better than me. Um, How is, uh, so which tires we're running, Cup 2s or? So we are running now the Cup 2Rs and uh -huh. actually these are the tires which uh, which I bought and I did the 649 uh, lap time. Uh -huh. These are the same tires because I started in the morning today and I said, okay, it's going to be a good day, not so much traffic. Yeah. Uh, so I said, okay, let's put the Rs, maybe there will be some, you know, <laughs> we'll have some extra fun. But at the end of the day, the traffic was big. But I stay stick with the R's. I think that they are now like 30 laps. So 30 the laps R's, old. Some people say after 15, you're already done with R's. But. So, so the R's, you have to be very careful, especially on warming up. So if you if you um, go too hard mm -hmm. on the new set, um, I I normally on the R's, I I only use two sets, I think now. So I the first set, I went quite fast, and the tire just let's say um, it, it burned yeah. on lap one and it was finished. So on the second set, I took it very easy. I drove um, two slower laps uh, and then correct the pressures. And now the tires are, I think, maybe 25, 27 laps and mm -hmm. they are okay, but obviously they are not on the pace. Yeah. So I think the R's are very fast for the first 10 laps. Mm -hmm. Then they are faster than the two. But afterwards, they are the same pace and they start to degrade and, mm. and the two is good for 40 laps, let's yeah, say. Yeah. When I did the 649, I did it on the R and then I put a new set of uh, Ns and I did 655. So that was very similar, I would say. Six seconds is not a big difference mm -hmm. um, in, in normal driving, but obviously the R has the, this ex extra the extra peak. grip. Yeah, yeah exactly. the extra grip for two laps, let's say. The, the, uh, some people say that the R is actually very beneficial for like the average driver, like because it, it makes them feel more confident and gives them that extra edge. I think it's it's also a lot. Uh, I don't. I'm not a specialist, mm -hmm. so I'm not an engineer. But I. But, but it's talking, interesting to hear you as a yes. like as a good driver to hear your opinion about the tire. I so think I a lot of people the, appreciate that. The R is um is much easier on the curbs because it's softer sidewall. Mm -hmm. So it's the the big advantage on the R from what I see is really not the fast corners. It's only braking and um, and accelerating due to soft sidewall. So so the sidewall uh, makes the car planted. Mm -hmm. it, it allows you to accelerate well and it allows you to brake well. Uh, on fast corners, I'm not really sure if the R is 
so much quicker, mm -hmm. maybe a few kilometers, maybe one, two percent, but that's not a big difference. And it, it helps probably um, uh, people to, to get to know the track also if they drive with the R because it's easier on the curbs. Sidewall is, is softer, so if, even if you run the curbs, like we did now, mm -hmm. it really um, helps you and, and you know, even if you make a mistake, then the R will, let's say, will, we cleaned up. Yeah. And with the N, if you drive the curb wrong, you will just slide, especially with the stock suspension. Yeah. So, so I had the chance, thanks to Sebastian Vito, and um, and he borrowed me his GT2 RS with the Mante kit, yeah. the KW suspension. And the big advantage was that, that the car is just so much easier. It's, it's more forgivable more forgiving and then the standard suspension mm -hmm. if it's faster the, the aero package helps a lot um, but but i'm sure that the suspension with the kw it's just easier mm -hmm. to drive that was that was my feeling so so i think the package is nice but but i decided to stick with that yeah no it's I, I think it's already as you can see you don't need like special suspension to go fast <laughs> in this case that was good i just want to have a look on uh, at your tires like yes. uh but overall it's cool the, the r looks you will see it it looks mickey mouse <laughs> mickey mouse <laughs> yes. even after one <laughs> So, I mean, it still has profile. Yes, and it's it only gets eaten up in the inside here. Mm. It's always eaten up, even after two laps. And the same thing happens in front. But if you run the correct pressure, you correct it down. Michelin recommends two three in the front, two five in the back. I use two two and two four, mm -hmm. so a bit different pressure. Yep. No, it's good for 30 laps. Yeah. Awesome. Dude, thanks again one more time. This was Thank amazing. You. And give this man a follow. Check out his channel. <laughs> it's been mind blowing. So, yeah, maybe next season we can go out for the last traffic or on the track we day. Should. That we was should. the idea to go out on Monte Racing yeah. track day, but uh, it was raining the whole day. I wasn't here either anyway, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been possible. But, uh, yeah. Let us know what you thought about in the in the lap and uh, in the lap in the video description about the lap. Yeah, I need to get my words together. It was definitely one of the highlights of the year for me. I hope you think so as well. Thanks. Thank you again. Thank one you. more time and see you. Thank you.